starting things off facing Trinity Western this weekend, then on a bye, so they can't really build momentum the next week. And then after the bye week, the Huskies taking on Alberta. Tomorrow night as well. Same start time, 5 o'clock Pacific here on CanadaWest.tv. Cornwall getting up there with Ashton McKenzie. And we'll fall back down on the Huskies' side to get us back underway. Lots of power on that one. And Kaylin Devaney will finish things off from the middle. They tend to be one of the more animated benches. Fun to watch here if you're live and you can see them react to big points just like this one. Block at the net. Five o'clock Pacific start here on CanadaWest.tv. Flink, good dig. Carpache to the attack, right back onto the Spartan side. First touch by Wendell. Carpache to the attack again, and so much power for Sophie Carpache, doing it once again from the left hand side. And the U of A Invitational going one and two. We're playing a few exhibition matches to keep fresh. Trinity Western, however, not playing any exhibition matches. But Sophie Carpache does not look rusty. She's had a few good swings just in the last few rallies. Couple of blockers up. Cornwall and Devaney. Cornwall. Wendell down the line. He's her right back onto the Spartan side. Here's Cornwall and Devaney will score. <laughs> Sophie Carpache from the left side. She's been hot from that spot tonight. Emmeline Coffing, the Calgarian, gets the ball over. Ashton McKenzie to the attack scores. For Trinity Western. Wendell sends that cross court to the other number 14, McKenzie Peck. Point for Trinity Western. Match point, Carpaccio. Anila, free ball for the Spartans to work with Cornwall. Setting up Bailey and she scores. Jessica Bailey subbing in in the third set, picking up the game winning point. Spartans take it 25 to 20 in the third set, winning in straight sets here at the Langley Events Center.